So you've seen the thumbnail, you've read a title, and now you're probably looking at the box next to me and you're thinking, you know exactly what this video is all about. When FMS decides to mix the old Chevrolet K10 with the new um, FCX18 Land Cruiser, you pretty much get this. FMS's new release, FCX18 Chevrolet K10. And funny enough, mine also came in red. You can freeze the picture and check for yourself the car's dimensions. I've put both models side by side and two things stand out. First of all, is FMS actually reused the uh, body from the old model into the new FCX18 uh, release, albeit that they fitted on a brand new chassis. The second thing is, when you compare the height of both models, old versus new, you can see that this new model sitting on the brand new chassis is much higher than the old model. So that tells us that this is going to be far more capable when compared to the old version. So. Old model and new model side by side, albeit upside down. And here you can see up close the major differences between the chassis itself. The, as I refer, the body is basically the same. The chassis is different. Um, albeit these are metal uh, railings, everything else is plastic. Whereas in the new model, you've got all um, uh, metal railings, chassis metal railings, metal links, including the uh, the steering and the steering links. Um, these uh, driving shafts are plastic. And here you can get a closer look of the uh, axle mounted steering servo. In terms of specs, when comparing to the old model, it's like comparing day to night. So the old model has a one speed uh, gearbox attached to a 050 electric motor, whereas the new one has the very well known two speed gearbox from that came out from the S FCX24 and then on the FCX18 Land Cruiser, attached to a 180 uh, motor, which is far more powerful and more capable than the original model. With the new model, we get a steering servo uh, on the axle rather than on the chassis, like the old model. And with this new one, similar to the FCX18 Land Cruiser, comes with portal axles and oil filled shocks. So here you can see both FCX 18s side by side with uh, rear axles aligned. And you can see the, the big difference between the FCX 18 Land Cruiser and the FCX 18 K10, the K10 being much bigger than the Land Cruiser. With both models upside down, you can notice some similarities, such as the axles, the portal axles there, and the uh, steering links as much as the gearbox uh, mount there. However, that's pretty much where similarities kind of end um, with the uh, the suspension arms on the Toyota Land Cruiser being shorter than the suspension arms on the K, uh, K10. The chassis from the K10 is also longer than the chassis on the Toyota Land Cruiser. Slightly different than this particular new Land Cruiser, this model uh, comes with a dashboard and a steering wheel, but that's pretty much it. Doesn't come with anything else and it comes with tinted windows. Whereas the old model, you can see comes with clear windows uh, and a full interior where you can actually fit a, um, a figure like I've done on mine. Um, having said that, uh, FMS, I think FMS has already launched a full interior scale for the FCX18. So I can only assume, but please treat this with a pinch of salt, I can only assume that at some point in time, FMS will probably try and do the same thing and launch uh, an interior for this particular model. This new K10 comes with this transmitter. And I'm really happy to say that FMS has decided to listen to uh, uh, its product users and went back to the previous transmitter model, which biggest difference is you've got the ESC dip switches here where you can control what type of battery you wanna use, um, forward, brake, reverse, or just forward, reverse, um, and very importantly, drag brake. Gearbox functions, as usual, are in here. So this is first gear, then you, you press it to the right-hand side and you've got second gear. And the light switch, is this one so uh, once I fit the battery 
I will get to show how the lights work. Similar to the new Land Cruiser, this model comes with a 7.4 volt, 900 milliamp uh, battery, which is, uh, as you can see, bigger than your standard FMS battery, or let's call it the old uh, batteries. Similar to the new FCX 18 Land Cruiser, this is how you've got a battery tray, so you put the battery there, that's the, that's the ESC, this is the new V3 uh, ESC model, which is quite uh, smooth, to be honest, and it's even better when coupled with the 180 motor and the two-speed gearbox. So I fitted some brand new batteries on the transmitter, by the way, four AAA uh, batteries, and the battery's been charged, fitted in the car, and this is basically what you get. So, uh, response from the um, steering server is quite, uh, quite, quite good, quite responsive. This is first gear, so this is the type of crawling that you can achieve. So it's actually quite good. Second gear, you can see actually quite um, flies. So you can have a bit of fun with it, although it's not a, a racing truck of any um, sort. So at the moment you can see that the lights are off, but once you press, press on this button, sorry, press, 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 is that a new word? Once you press on this button, so at the moment lights are off, you press once, you've got normal beams, and yes, you do have the indicators. However, you don't have any indicators at the back. So the only thing you've got at the back, and I'm happy that FMS has listened to us, you've got constant lights at the back. So they're neither reverse or forward lights or whatever, but they are constant lights, which in all fairness, I'm happy for it. It gives a, a, a new scaleness, 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 is that a word, scaleness? To the truck. You press again, you have high beams, you still have your indicators. You press again, you have your high beams and your indicators and the rear lights are still on. So that's pretty much how it works in terms of lights and first and second gear. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, wheels and tires. All right, when it comes to the wheels, these are much bigger than any um, normal uh, 118 or 124 FMS so far and these are chrome wheels. So they're plastic, they are beadlock wheels. I don't know if you can see that, but they are beadlock, but they are plastic. The tires though, they are similar to the tires that came out on the Limor. And we all know what happens with whoever buys a Limor. First thing that goes are the tires. So although I think that the tires actually look great and scale on this particular model, I suspect I don't have a Limo, but from what I can see from, from uh, review videos, uh, these are not really well-performing um, tyres. Again, they look great, and I think the size of the tyre fits perfectly well with this particular model, but in terms of uh, tread, uh, I don't think this is going to be any good, uh, especially for me, uh, because I like to take the trucks uh, to the mud. However, for the review purposes, I will not change the tyres and I will take the, this model uh, to the mud.
As I received this model from FMS Models before its release day, I personally don't have any idea how much the model will cost um, when it comes out, but I'll be willing to bet it would be more or less uh, within um, the FCX18 Toyota Land Cruiser. So on that note, thank you ever so much to FMS Models for providing this model to the channel, especially this is the first time on this channel that we get our hands on a pre-release uh, model. So thank you ever so much once again for that opportunity. So to cut a long story short, was it worth the way and is it worth your uh, hard earned money? Definitely yes. If you put aside the performance lacking tyres, which vast majority of you will change them anyway, this is a fantastic addition to the FMS line out and to everyone such as myself that love the products and love these small scale trucks, it's definitely, definitely worth your money. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Watch the other ones that I've got on the channel. I'll see you all soon.